Hey, and welcome back to our Elfcraft. So, this is obviously episode two. Right, so, just come down, and we're still in our little cave, and we need to get out of this. Um, it's nearly daytime, but we still got that thing right there that, um, that blew a hole in this. So, uh, debating what to do. Alright, can we repair our items? Uh, probably not. Can't repair it with gravel, can we? Cobble. Uh, nope. Okay, so we're gonna have to make a new pickaxe anyway. Just because it's gonna be a pain otherwise. But yeah, if you do like these episodes, give it a like and a subscribe and let me know and put your comments down below. Okay, um, you know what? We'll make a run for it and hope for the best. That's gonna kill me. Um, right, you know what? Because that's there, what we'll do, we'll dig out this way, and we will um, we'll try and bypass it and go to that tower area because we do need to get ourselves home. Um, we won't be able to survive otherwise. And on the upside, I think I know how to drink now. So we're going to put that to the test today as well. Alright, let's make a run for it here. Alright, we do need food. I don't like killing pigs. Right, let's see. Okay, I'm not too sure what it pops in and out of the uh, colours for, so if anyone knows, um, feel free to pop it in the comments for some tips, so then I know. But yeah, we have figured out how to drink. Obviously, we do get the thirst deeper. Is that going to kill me? I have a funny feeling that might kill me. Or are you a neutral thing? Oh, lapis. Okay. So that's not too bad, getting lapis from that lovely guy. But I've got to say, this place does look really beautiful, overall. Alright, let's get a tree. Obviously, if you do stand under trees as well, when you mine them, and it falls on you, you do die. So that's uh, something to look into or look forward to, if I don't pay attention sometimes. Um, I'll take it, but I'm not going to stay around until that tree things. Alright, some more lapis and fish. What's that? Oh, snacks of meat. Uh, very sharp and bony. Can you eat that or cook it? What? On earth is that monstrosity over there? Oh no. Alright, let's get rid of this spawner. Right, we don't want the spawners, we want XP. Oh, diamonds. Ah, uh, my inventory's full. Rip. Right. Uh, that's how it works. If we get rid of them, I can carry that. Uh, right, let's break you down. What are you? Healing, see. What do I have to be level 2 in? Right, I don't need damage gravel, so if we throw that bit, then we have an emerald. Uh, don't need dirt right now, or that bit of dirt anyway. But we do need to get a, a home to live in. What are they? They look like bushes from a distance. 
Okay, so we come from over that way. I think the tower is that way. And the tower is the one thing we want to go to. Oh, a butterfly. Huh. Yeah, this mod pack as well will keep me interested in um, what sort of things to look for. Oh, the tower is right here. But they don't look friendly at all. But funny thing, if I go up there, they're gonna come down and try and kill me. Oh, the tower's over there. That might be it. That would be a nice home over there, right? Like this big tower. But there's a home right here. And a creeper. Bandages. <gasps> Bandages. Uh, and I gotta be level six for that. Why are you doing this to me, game? Okay. Um, I know what I'm trying to make. Uh, right here. If we get rid of that. There we go. We'll make a new knife anyway. We've got the things right. Oh, that, that looks like a perfect homemade, a ready-made home right here. Yes, I know I can't use that yet. All right, bones. I mean, this could be a. This could be a temporary home for me, to be fair. So what we'll do if we if we make this home for the time being. Uh, just put everything in the chest like so. Right, um, we're probably going to need them later on. I don't think you need a sword right now. I'll keep that on me. Furnace. Oh. In there. So we'll put another furnace here. I'll keep this on me. Uh, plant fibers will keep. Right. Let's cook the food. Let's put that there. I think I'm gonna need sticks and I want them tools can just be like emergency. Don't think I'll need the string right now. I have worked out as well, I need matches to like torches. So how do you make these? Uh slabs and paper. And to get that I need my farming level up. Uh five. And then we get some in attack. There we go. Oh, and then what is a skill could we go up into gathering maybe? Or mining the hem. Gathering would probably be better for now. Ish. Oh, there you go. Right, so there is my spawn point right there. And we'll just sleep through every night cycle. Alright, if I die, I'll spawn back here now, not in a random spawn, so that is great. What do you drop? Raw turkey. Okay. What are you? You're like a big sheep. A bit of XP. What was that? Oh, yell me. Okay. Are you friendly? A nymph. Okay. The sounds of this is quite strange. What is that? Oh. Alright, let's go get some water. I know one thing I do need to get is a canteen. Oh, you are nice. Okay. So you give regeneration to me. Perfect. And you make a sweet sound. Oh, I need empty hands. There we go. So yeah, I've got the first debuff. I'm not too sure if you can counteract the first debuff at any point. But if you can, it'd be great. So 
let's have a little look up here first. This breaks. Now this doesn't look too handy. And I apologize if this does get a bit too dark right here. But when we go down, um, hopefully it's going to be okay. But. Okay, what we'll do, I need to get matches first. So if. Do do do. If I see what level I need for that shrinking over there, we can make some matches to put torches down around there in order to uh, see where we're actually going. What is this? Farming level 8, okay. So yeah, obviously farming and everything like that has certain levels. We'll pick our knife back up. So we are limited at times what we can do. I'm very intrigued what they are, but I have a funny feeling if I even go close to them, I'm gonna die. Okay. So what did you actually drop? Raw squid and ink tag, okay. I still don't trust that thing over there. I don't want to venture too far ahead all the time uh, without knowing my surroundings and bearings. Is that a platform up there? Oh, bonus. Okay. So at least we can pick up the sugar cane. Which is a great thing. And this actually sounds a bit too dead me over here. Alright, if we go back over to this side, because I don't particularly want to get mauled by whatever's in them trees. And I'm gonna hope that I'm not gonna, um, not gonna die to something very horrible this episode. But yeah, like I said before, if you've got any tips for me, just put them in the comments below. They would help um, understand this mod as well. Alright, so we've got some more skills. So if we put that in. Uh, Sky Gathering up. And then we should be able to make some matches now. But yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna play this. Um, quite often this uh, mod pack because it does seem quite interesting to be fair. Uh, I've put all these in there. Um, don't think I need to stream right now, I don't need feathers. Some paper, and then we need slabs. Actually, if we make two match but that two lots of matches, we'll keep us back up set there, um, let's make some more torches just in case, right if I keep that wood here, uh, I don't think I need the acorns yet because they're a higher farming level, uh, we'll replant them quickly, right everything is coming together. Uh, talk about it coming together, and then I fall down the hole. Right. I know bandages is something that we're going to have to work on as well. Because... Oh, actually, I'm okay. Ah, yeah, there's another one. Another one. So the Yales are passive creatures, then, for the looks. Alright, time to go up in this big monstrosity up here. Because I do want to explore it. If it's full of mobs, which I 
I'm gonna assume it is. Then we do need to be careful. Alright, there's one torch. Where'd that one go? Is this anything or nothing? Should have bought a knife for this, I think. But I don't know if this is actually going to lead anywhere. Uh. I hear some zombies. Ah, no! Alright, I wanna light this torch. Light the torch. No, not... Why can't I seem to light a torch? Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Okay, so I can't light a torch down there, apparently. All I seem to do is keep lighting myself on fire, which is never a good thing. I light you. Oh, there we go. Okay, so don't hold shift when lighting a torch. Okay, so we're learning something new. I don't know what is... Uh, it looks like a maze around here. Did it just keep going? Actually, you know what? We'll come back to that bit in a minute. So if we clear it out level by the level... No. Never mind, that's pretty much it. All right. Let's... Please don't kill me, whatever's down here. What was that? This already sounds horrible. I hear trumpet zombie spiders. So that little zombie right there. Uh, it just one hit me like what? A baby zombie does so much damage. Right, need to go and get my stuff again. And hope I don't die in the process. So you can see why this mod pack is obviously very difficult. But I also I'm not making the same mistake twice. Uh, oh, where's my weapon? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Definitely not gonna underestimate this again. And now I know that the little ones one hit you. Yeah, 
it's just it's a fear of um, to get around, so I also need bandages now. Right, how do I make bandages again? Wall and that. Right, soldiers, wall, that. Yes. Smoke this, there, that, and that. Right, I'll make four bandages because I am pretty much going to need it right now. And hope that I can um, figure out where you guys are spawning from. <laughs> this sounds absolutely terrifying by the way. Um, just juice the amount of stuff that is around. Put that there. There we go. Okay. And of course, my, my weapon. <sighs> right, um, so we need a. What was it? Uh, what was that weapon? That is a. Anyway, right, so we need a pole with three and string. Alright, so these cobwebs just keep going back. So three and string, and then. Wait, how long is it? Uh, it's you. There we go. I actually want to get down it and stop whatever this is. Um, whatever spawned so many of them. Because this is just going to get terrifying. Oh, I mean, I could use it as an XP farm, right? Let me go. Let me know what you guys think. XP farm or kill the, uh, kill the spawner here? Because, I mean, I could get a lot of XP. Obviously. This seems worse than that one better. Uh, right, we'll leave this for now. Why am I drowning? Uh, okay, right, we're gonna leave this for the time being. Because... I, I'm not too sure what to do with it. Oh no. I was down there way too long. Right, you know what? Let's do the appropriate thing. And get in my house. Get in my furnished house that we just moved into. Right, uh, let's figure out what that other weapon was. Throwing knife, axe, javelin, boomerang mace. I can't think of what it was. Ah, oh, that was it, the halberd. No, one halberd, that's what I've got. What was it? 
Oh, it was a great sword, okay. Right, so we can make a handle. And then... It was a great sword. Perfect. Can I, can I go to sleep? There we go. Alright, let's have a nice little relax now. And what we'll do, because it's just turned day by here, I'll end this episode here. But let me let me know what you guys think about up there. Do we leave it as a mob XP farm? Do we go ahead and break all the spawners? Um, yeah, have a little decide and let me know. And thank you for joining me in this episode, and I'll see you in the next.